In this video, I'm going to show you how to run your import sheet. So what you do is you'll, when you log in, you'll be presented with your dashboard. You're just going to go all imports and manage imports. Once the page is loaded, there's a nice little trick that I like with this plugin is that let's say, for example, you're on the road or you can't remember, you can't find the last import sheet that you use because it was deleted by mistake or it's you as I said you're on the road and you're using a different laptop so what you can do is you can literally just click on this link and it will actually download the import sheet for you so if we load here there will run it there's your import sheet so then you can make the changes and then what you'll do is to upload it you're just going to go settings you would click upload file and then you would just select it and then it would say upload in and then it would say upload complete so now your import sheet has been uploaded then it's going to you need to click uh, you, you, the unique identifier you're going to click edit and go continue that will basically refresh all this uh, the all the links with all the cells uh, with the new um, import sheet you don't have to worry about any of these settings here Okay, these are all set up for you. Then you're just going to click Save uh, Import Configuration. Now, now you're going to get a pop-up. So now the way we've got it set up is that if, for example, one of your items you don't stock anymore, right, um, and it, or it's on back order and you don't want it to be on the website, what you do is you'll obviously remove that from the import sheet. The system is not going to delete it on the website. It's going to mark it as draft. So for that process to be approved, the website needs you to approve that process. So all you're going to do is you're going to click, double click and select I have backups. You're going to copy it. You're going to paste it into this block here and go confirm. Then it is going to save your import. And as you can see, it has saved it and taken you back to the, uh, to the, uh, to the beginning welcome uh, page for managing imports. Then you're just going to go run import. Then once you do that, you're just going to click confirm run import and then it's going to run the import, uh, run, sorry, it's going to run your uh, the import sheet. Then it will update your products or delete products or whatever changes you've made. So for this purpose, I'm not going to run the import because everything's up and running and it's, it's correct. But that is how you'd run an import.